Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this week. A massive fire destroyed an unfinished condo in Kelowna's Mission last weekend, damaging nearby residences and sending several firefighters to the hospital. The blaze started Saturday morning and quickly overtook the building. Four firefighters became trapped inside, and one, Chris Zimmerman, suffered serious burns before they were rescued by an extended ladder from firefighters down below. Zimmerman is still recovering from burns on his hands, legs, and back at Kelowna General Hospital, but is expected to be released on Monday. Meanwhile, the fire significantly damaged the occupied Water's Edge building, along with the adjacent Walnut Grove Motel, displacing more than 100 people. The strata president of the damaged Water's Edge building says the demographics of the building are mainly seniors, while the Walnut Grove Motel provides low-income housing. All of these residents are now without a home. Wildfires continue to rage across the province this week, with significant fires burning near Princeton, Ashcroft, Hundred Mile House, and Williams Lake. The fires have forced the evacuation of over 16,000 people across the province, and the entire town of Williams Lake has been under an evacuation alert for most of the week. The Boston Flats area near Ashcroft was hit particularly hard, with one trailer park being completely destroyed. While the fires near Williams Lake were expected to be hit by hard winds Wednesday, the weather in the latter part of the week has proved relatively calm, helping firefighting efforts. Evacuees from the affected areas have begun making their way to Kelowna after an emergency support services center was set up in town. A local school has also been set up with cots to house evacuees who don't have a place to go. In more fire news, an apartment building in Vernon went up in smoke Monday night, forcing the 29 residents to escape, leaving them without a home. The fire began at the Arbor Lee Apartments on 40th Avenue just before 7 p.m., quickly causing $2 million in damage. Residents are expected to be displaced from their home for some time. And police have identified the man who was found dead in a burned out home in April after a loud explosion inside shook the neighborhood. Once the fire was extinguished, crews found 23-year-old Michael Madsen dead inside, the victim of an apparent homicide. Police believe the murder was related to the drug trade and organized crime. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson. We've got date night covered. Find movie listings from around the valley under the Our Town button. Click a poster and watch a trailer. <laughs>